Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to temporarily disable maintenance plans in SQL Server. And in this video, we'll be learning how to disable maintenance plan using SQL Server Management Studio. And also, another option, we will go through different options of uh, disabling um, maintenance plans in SQL Server. And one of the options that we could go is uh, maintenance plan tasks. We can go ahead and disable maintenance plan tasks. That, that doesn't mean that maintenance plan itself has uh, disabled but uh, even if this maintenance plan runs it will not complete that particular task so let's go ahead and do that here's my SQL server right here uh, in order to go in maintenance plan you need to go expand management of SQL server and then go in maintenance plan and I have created a maintenance plan which is backup all databases if you double click on maintenance plan you will see uh, the maintenance plan name uh, sub plan that what is this plan is going to do and right here is the maintenance plan tool so uh, this tool I'm using right now is back backup maintenance uh, backup database all databases uh, if you double click on that as you can see it's all database backups and destination is right here so we're gonna go you can also uh, create a t-sql from this maintenance uh, task so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and first thing that uh, uh, we need to do is first we need to find out the maintenance plan is either scheduled or not scheduled we are going to work on a maintenance plan that is scheduled because that's the only maintenance plan that you're going to work on to to disable for some time let's say you wanted to disable for a week or you wanted to disable for one day and um, uh, do something else and then later on come back and enable it so the first option is up here is the schedule uh, if it's an ad hoc maintenance plan then you don't need to enable or disable it because that would be user interaction and it will not run on schedule so we're gonna go ahead and first thing we need to see in order to do that we can go ahead and disable the schedule up here and as soon as we disable the schedule and click OK this maintenance plan is not going to run and we're gonna go ahead and save all this and this become now an ad hoc maintenance plan if you double click on click on schedule again as you can see right here schedule type is reoccurring but it's not enabled so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this this is one way that you could uh, disable your maintenance plan and uh, as soon as you refresh and save this you will go in each maintenance plan you make up here it'll create a job on SQL Server agent so we're gonna go ahead and right here is our job that was created by this maintenance plan we can go ahead and refresh the jobs and go to the properties of job now and go to the schedule and see up here you will say enable no and let's go ahead and enable uh, the maintenance plan and we will see that if it changes up here on the job so we're gonna go ahead and click up here enable it click OK and save it don't forget to save it because it will not take effect until you save everything so we're gonna go back refresh the job and double and go double click or go to properties and you will see on steps schedule enabled yes so this is one way that you enable disable temporarily your maintenance plan you could do it from maintenance plan you could also do it via SQL Server agent so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and go back up here and disable this this becomes again I'm repeating that this becomes ad hoc you will run this um, right here and it will basically run your uh, uh, task so the other thing that right here that we um, discussed is how to disable maintenance plan task let's say that you you have a maintenance plan and it has one task or two tasks you, what you could do is also right click on the uh, task and up here you have option enable or disable so before we do that let's go ahead and run this maintenance plan in order to run maintenance plan you can right click on the maintenance plan and click on execute and let me first go and delete any backup so we would know that if the, it has happened or not my backup uh, in destination I have given is right here 
as you can see up here these are the backups so I'm going to go ahead and delete that and see if our maintenance plan creates these backup so let's check again everything if um, it's enabled schedule is enabled it doesn't matter really we're gonna go ahead and cancel this so we're gonna go ahead and execute our maintenance plan and see if it creates the databases backup all right it's successful let's go back and as you can see all the backups are right here even our schedule is disabled this is kind of ad hoc or on demand schedule uh, on demand execution of maintenance plan so now let's go ahead and delete the whole thing and we will go ahead and disable our task up here when you right click and go to the properties you have an option up here the enable or disable or you can just right click and right now we're going to go ahead and do the disable true so as you can see right here as soon as you disable it the the task up here becomes grayed out and let let me enable it and show you as you can see that it's bolded now and go ahead and disable it and it's grayed out and let's go ahead and save everything and now we're gonna go ahead and execute the maintenance plan and it'll show you that it's executed successfully and but it will not do anything it shouldn't create all the databases so we're gonna go ahead and close this and go back to our database backup location as you can see there is no backup so this is another way that uh, if it's a backup maintenance plan and if you have just certain um, tasks you can enable or disable tasks even though the uh, maintenance plan will run uh, on schedule if it is on schedule but it will not do anything it will skip uh, this particular um, task so we're gonna go ahead and go to the properties and enable it and save everything okay so this is just playing with maintenance plan but we could do the same thing up here as I showed earlier let's refresh right here this is our maintenance job that it created so we're gonna go ahead and close this we'll go to the properties of the job and we're going we're going to look at the steps first as you can see right here is a maintenance uh, plan package and package name is backup all database and it runs on Windows authentication and advanced you can do all that you can look at it um, on success action and on failure action so what we need to do is go to the schedule and up here it says enabled no so you can enable disable schedule right here from the job if you wanted to enable enable it you can click on enable and save it and if you wanted to disable it you can disable it up here so you can also manipulate maintenance plan uh, via the SQL Server agent and you can also go in just maintenance plan and enable and disable maintenance plans and I hope this video helps